Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today we'll talk about the two new functions that were introduced in SQL Server 2012. That is choose and if IIF function, that is if and only if. Right, so first of all, let's talk about choose. So the choose function in SQL Server gives the functionality of maintaining arrays in SQL Server. Right, the first parameter acts like an index which starts from one and it can go up to the limit of uh, the integer value. And the rest of the parameters are variable parameters. So these are the list of the values, array values, right? And whatever the value of the index is, it the choose function will return the particular value, right? So as it starts from one, so one will be this, two will be this, and three, four, five, and so on and so forth. So whatever will be the value of this index parameter, the corresponding value will be returned by the choose function. Let's see how. So I have this uh, choose function and you know the index value is three. So it will return the one, two, three developer value. So let's see, right? So it returns the developer value. If I have, if I change it to one, then it will uh, return the manager value, right? So similar to this, um, I have choose function. So it is two and the values are Manoj, Saurabh, Andy and Dave, right? So it will return the second value that is Saurabh, right? But let's say if I have uh, these values, one, two, three, and uh, let's say 89.97 and if I specify the value as 5 it will return me 123.00 so why it changed it to 00 it will return the value of the higher precedence so right, right now the higher precedence is the numeric value here so it converted all these values into this higher precedence right so let's see what happens you know if I uh, use 2 here right so it gave me error converting to data type varchar to numeric because two points to Saurabh and it will try to convert this Saurabh value to the higher precedence that is 98.78 data type that is numeric so it will give an error so you have to you know carefully uh, choose your uh, data type values over here okay now let's see one example practical example uh, you must be wondering like how we can use it in a real time scenario okay so I have this uh, particular table that is product category okay so let's see the records in this table okay so these are the records in this table and I want to specify this product category IDs other than 1 2 3 4 5 so I want to specify them as A B C D how can I do that so what I can do here is I can put choose right then I'll put product category ID comma A comma B comma C comma D right so this is as new PROD new product category ID right so let's see how it looks like okay so I'll have to remove the comma here so let's see how this looks like Right, so as you can see here, it gave corresponding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and A, B, C, D, right. So if the value is 1, it will return A, value is 2, it return B, right. So 3 for C for 3 and D for, you know, 4, right. So like this, okay. Now let's take in another example. I have a table called person, okay, and select star from person okay now you can see email promotion right so let's say I zero means no promotion one means yes and two means uh, not applicable so how I can do that so let's try choose right so choose uh, email promotion comma so first option is no then second option is yes Okay, and third option is n slash a not applicable okay and let's run this right so here you see that you know for zero it is null and one it is no right so as I told you this value starts from one so if it is zero then we have to increment it by one right so now it will work perfectly right so here so wherever the email promotion is zero it is no right and wherever it is one it is yes and wherever it is two it is not applicable right so this is how you can use the choose function 
now let's move over to the iif that is the if and only if boolean expression this similarly works with the if else statement right so it is a shortcut of the if else statement and this is available at the select list so the normal if and else condition you cannot apply at the select level right but uh, this uh, if and only if condition iif you can apply at the select list right so let's see how it uh, works so one variable value is 45 and another value variable is uh, 40 so this boolean expression where we are checking uh, if a is greater than b then true otherwise false so let's see how it what it returns so it returns true right so now let's see how we can use this in our table logic right so i'll be using the same table select star from person right so here in this table if you see this particular column right modified date here the modified date ranges from you know 2007 to 2013 and 2014 right so here i just want to you know flag these records into two groups right one is the older records and one is one are the newer records so i am taking a partition of date 2010 okay as a partition right i will partition this whole set into two how we can do that let i'll show you so select iif right then modified date right if modified date is greater than 20 10 0 1 0 1 then these are new records otherwise these are right new or old right so let's see okay so so you can see right these records are flagged as old records and new records right so if i move this column or if i add this column over here it, you can see very easily right so the records that were modified prior to 2010 are flagged as older records and which are modified after 2010 are flagged as new records right see here so all these are new records correct so this way you can easily use if and only if function and it's very handy and uh, very simple to use and similarly the choose function uh, so these two functions are very easy to use so this is it for today please let me know your comments and please subscribe the channel by subscribing you'll be able to get to know about the latest videos that i put in thanks a lot have a nice day